So, hello again, people out there in YouTube land. This is my second YouTube video, and this video will be a brief history of my career in medical research. So I just want to tell you how it is that a kid who grew up in Guyana became a medical scientist. And it wasn't easy, and so the reason why I'm making this video is to give some kid out there who has the dream of becoming a medical scientist or a medical doctor and who is living somewhere in a developing country, how you can make that dream come true. So I started out as a kid growing up in Guyana, like to do um, little experiments. I like to play with kites. I used to experiment on flying kites and how changing the construction of the kite, the weight, the shape changed how it flew in the air. And so I, when I was six or seven or eight, I wanted to be um, built, I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer, I wanted to build flying machines. However, when I got to 18, I realized that flying airplanes and building airplanes was not really um, as exciting as I thought um, they were when I was a kid. And in fact, I thought of those things only as a hobby. What I wanted to do was something more ambitious, um, much, much more serious. And so I got into physics. I did my bachelor's degree in physics and made my way to New York. In New York, I was registered for a master's degree in planetary science. I was going to do research on climate change and, and climates on other planets. But at that point again I realized that it was a bit too far away from the kind of impact I wanted to make on the world. And so I switched to nuclear structure research and did that for two years and was working on building detectors um, to image to, to record um, nuclear reactions at a major uh, national laboratory in the US and around the same time I realized that that kind of research was being used for military um, applications and I didn't want to be in the business of making war so I decided to get out of that and get into medical research but making my way from nuclear physics to medical research was not easy and that will be the subject of the next two videos. How did I manage to transform myself from a experimental nuclear structure physicist into a magnetic resonance imaging scientist in the field of cardiac research? So until next time, keep watching, keep dreaming, keep looking up, and sayonara, peace out, bye.